Star Wars fans, I'm going to make this a quick one. I want no judgment from you guys. I ended up buying a bunch of watches on eBay and Amazon in Alibaba, and I got some of the weirdest watches I could possibly find. Not because I thought that they were good watches, but I thought that they were really strange and really weird. So this is a new watch. This one came from eBay, but it came from China. And it's an LED watch. And I couldn't help myself. So here you go. I don't know what I paid. I think it was like $7. So, you know, it's ridiculous. But I don't know what any of that says. There's some... Yeah, all right. But hey, for $7, how can you go wrong? And you know, I thought it looked cool. I'm not expecting great quality. But if it makes it through the day, then I'm excited. <laughs> this is a very cheap watch. I, I absolutely recognize this. So, uh, as you guys know from, um, or if you don't know, uh, LED watches were a thing back in the, I would say, the 70s early 80s perhaps during the early time of uh quartz watches when they were far more common as what would you say as um you know alarm clocks and so they take a lot of power so in order to actually see it you have to hit it and <laughs> there you go it says it's thursday it's nine something it is nine, okay. I don't know that that's right. Oh, I see, it's 9.20. All right, yeah, so that's not right. But uh, hey, that's cool. I'll go set it, I'll figure it out. But I wanted you guys to see it. I'll put a picture up of the auction, the cheapest one of these that I can find. I'll put it right here. And uh, I just, I think I'm gonna wear this to work tomorrow. And uh, I just wanted to do a few because I thought it was pretty hilarious. Honestly, the watch strap itself is probably worth more. But hey, this is a cool little watch. And if somebody at work says, hey, that's a cool watch. Can I see it? I'll be like, here you go. You can have it. It's awesome. There you go. It's not as nice as this, but I'll do that review later. But, um, well, smudges. Yeah, but I, I, uh, I couldn't help myself. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I will, gosh, this thing is... I know my hand prints aren't that bad, but it's cheap. It's cheap. I'll um, try and pop this sucker open, and I will also put a picture of it right there. I'm not going to do too much editing, editing on this video. I just want you guys to see it um, because I thought it was cool. Does this peel off? No, it's it comes on natural. All right. Um, well, let's see. I assume there's no loom. I can answer that really quick. It wouldn't make any sense, but let's see what it looks like at night. Cool. Not entirely useful, though. I have absolutely no idea what that would mean to me. Oh, you know, I guess I could count them. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. 420. All right. Yeah, I think I could, I could work that if it's five-minute increments. So it's not too bad. I think if you knew what you're looking at. And then... Oh, yeah, and then there's the sub. Sub-minute there. And Okay, so that's cool. So... First one is the hours. The, oh, sorry, I hit my camera. The first one's the hours. The second one here is the number of minutes by fives. And the one on the right, which was not showing up earlier, is uh, minutes by up to four. So when that changes, of course, then it goes to the next one. So that's actually not too bad. That's kind of cool. Kind of a neat little, little design. Um, let's do some measurements just for the sucker so I can get it out of here. Uh, this watch is cheap okay size 38 millimeters so you guys that like the older watches the old belovas and the uh marcel and c's and the old seikos and the old ingersolls and let's see what else we got the walthams the lord whatever yep you will like this size okay let's check the strap i don't even know what kind of strap how do i measure this okay i whatever 22 more or less width 
Case depth is 12, so not bad, okay. All right, well, and so I assume there is no water, I assume there's no water resistance. I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna try it um, because, you know, it'll get ruined. But the strap actually isn't so bad. You know, this strap reminds me of the strap that I worked on for that, um, oh, I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was some Swiss watch, but the guy had replaced the strap and this is what he put on it. I could probably even use this for a swatch. So it looks like the style. Anyways, I thought this was fun. Um, I'm just going to put this up as a quick bonus video. Um, if you like this video, please click the like somewhere down here. Um, please discuss in the comments below what you think of this watch, how badly you think it stinks, if you think it's kind of neat, if it was worth the, what did I pay, four or five bucks, I guess. Um, I can't remember, but I will have posted it. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, if you want to see some more excellent videos of high-quality watches such as this one, please make sure you subscribe. And for those who this is your first video, I don't normally do watches like this. I normally do watches between uh, $50 and $500, and I've been going kind of up to the $750 range. This is a $1,200 watch. So, um, but this one I thought was kind of fun. I like to do some of these fun watches. I've got a bunch more from China coming. I actually have in the new year because this i think is one of my first ones uh to post for the new year i've got one posting um today which will be several days after you see this but um uh, i have about nine watches coming in the mail and i've got maybe three boxes sitting next to me that i haven't opened yet but um so please stay tuned please subscribe for more really ap uh, appreciate your patronage i don't make any money certainly not uh, reviewing watches like this, but I thought it was kind of cool. So, all right. Talk to you guys later.